everyone, and welcome to another Arduino tutorial series. And this time we are going to be looking at joysticks. And in this first episode, I'm going to show you how it works, how to wire the joystick to an Arduino Uno, and then we are going to write some code together so we can see what kind of values the joystick puts out as we move it around, because we're going to have to use those values to be able to control other things like LEDs, servos, motors, and way more. It's all about controlling things because listen, better we do it than Skynet. So this is a typical looking joystick, kind of looks like what you see in a PS2 controller. And it's the one that pretty much comes in all the Arduino starter kits. So in fact, this is where I got mine and we can pop this little guy off. You know, this is where I break it. Tutorial over everybody. It's got a little knob here that moves in the X and Y directions and the values for those directions is determined by these two potentiometers, one for the X and one for the Y. And so as you can imagine, potentiometers, they spit out values between zero and 1023. And that's 1023 ADC values. You can convert them into volts if you want, but we're not going to have to do that for this purpose. And if we turn him around, there's a little button. It looks like those basic momentary switch buttons. And that's pretty much what it is with a little plunger right here. So if you were to push this down, which is really tough to do with this thing all stabbing up in my hands. So I'm going to put the little cap back on there. You can see it pushes the button up and down. So I'm going to pull this off and let's take a look at ye old pinout. We have our ground here. So this is going to wire to the ground of our Arduino and then the five volts. We can grab that right from the Arduino as well. And then you'll see VRX. And this is the pin that measures the left and right motion of the joystick along the horizontal plane. And then right under it is our VRY. So as you can guess, this is going to measure the vertical plane. So up and down. And then we have an SW and that stands for switch. And that works just like a button. Is the switch pressed or is it not pressed? And that's a digital readout there. So we're going to connect VRX and VRY to analog pins and the switch to a digital pin. We'll use black for ground. Maybe I'll pick this ground right here because it's right next to our five volts. And then next is our five volts. And we'll put him right here next to his buddy. It's like Bob Ross. You always want friends. You don't just paint one happy cloud. You paint quite a few. Green for go. We are going to wire up the VRX. And let's put him into pin A0 right here. And then the very next one is our VRY. And I'm going to put him right next to his buddy. We're creating friends. This was the switch. Let's just put this guy into two. So I'm going to draw a couple axis. It's uh, quite straight. As you can see, this is our X and this is our Y. And so for X, it's going to go from zero to 1023 or 1023. And similarly with Y, it's going to go from zero up here to 1023 below. So our little guy is going to sit like this and it's easy to remember the orientation to keep the pins to the left. When I thumb left, the values are going to go towards zero. When I thumb right, the value is going to go to 1023. And similarly here, thumbing up is going to take it to zero and thumbing down is going to take it to 1023. So therefore we can assume that the value right here in the middle is anywhere from 511 to 512, because that's in the middle of zero to 1023 and ADC values are always whole integers. So it's not technically would be 511.5 if we want to get technical, but any one of these numbers, is what we want to see for our X and our Y axis. It means our joystick is centered pretty perfectly. 
to the code. Let's write some sort of sketch so that way we can see what's happening inside our joystick. So first thing I want to do is define our pin. Basically tell the Arduino where everything is hooked up. We have that X axis pin. I'm going to call it X pin. Yeah, super creative. And that was on a zero. Hopefully I remember all of these or we'll be doing some troubleshooting. And then the Y pin was right next to it. It's little buddy, which is a one. And then we have our button pin. So let's do button pin or switch pin, but we'll call it button pin. And that was on two. Those are all the pins that we have for the joystick, but there's a couple more variables that I'm already seeing the future here that we're probably going to have to know. For instance, we need a variable to house the value for each of the axes. Is axis, axis C, is axis C. For instance, the X value, we need to know what that is because we're going to use it later on in the code. Same thing for the Y value. And you can call these whatever you want. I just figure X val, Y val, pretty easy to remember. We're also going to need a variable to track the state of the button. Is the button pushed or is it not pushed? So we'll call it button state. For the setup, let's fire up our serial monitor because that's what we're going to use to see the values coming from our joystick. So pin mode for the X pin, that's going to be an input because we are going to be receiving information from the joystick to the Arduino. And same thing with the Y pin, that's also going to act as an input. And then for the button, button pin, that's also going to be an input. With buttons, we usually have to use a resistor as a pull up resistor or a pull down resistor. But with the Arduino, it's got its own internal pull up resistor. So we are going to tap into that so we don't have to add in any additional components to our circuit. So input pull up. Let's move on down to the loop. So the first thing we want to do, Arduino is fired up. We want to read the joystick. We want to read the X axis and the Y axis to know where is it in its position. So we are going to get the X value, which we defined up here. So we have like a nice little storage container for it. We're going to get that X value by analog reading that X pin. And similarly, we're also going to want to get the Y value analog read the Y pin. And then after that, well, we need to know the state of the button. So button state, and we're going to get that by digital reading the button pin. Digital is either zero or one. It's either pushed or not pushed. It's not like in between pushed. So now we have the values. We know where the joystick is in that two dimensional state and whether or not the button has been pushed. So let's print that information out for us to be able to actually see it. In order to print it in a neat manner that we can follow it in columns like X, Y, and button, this is what I'm going to try and make it look like. So we are going to have text like X like this, and then it's going to print the X value and then a separator and then Y, and then it's going to print the Y value and then another separator button. And this is going to print either a zero or a one, depending on whether or not the button has been pushed or not. So you see, it kind of creates three columns and let's try and emulate this now. Let's see how successful I am. So serial print, we want to print X colon space and then serial print the actual X value. So what we've done here is this line right here is it's even highlighted here. You can see that's that. And then the X value will be this. So now we need to do space separator space Y colon in text print. Don't forget our quotation mark space separator space Y colon space. And then the actual Y value Y value. All right. So we've got this, which you can see highlighted is this, and then our Y value will spit out right here. So then we need space separator space button colon as our text serial dot print space separator space button colon. 
And then finally, our button value, or I guess it would be our button state. Now, this is going to fly by really fast, tough to read. So why don't we add a delay so that way it takes a reading every so often. And let's start with a delay of 100 milliseconds. All right, I'm going to upload. Everybody throw shade, give it side. I put the fear in this code so it doesn't give us any errors. It's done uploading. It worked, guys. We are ferocious. Let's see how this works. I am going to fire up the serial monitor. Oh, look, it's printing all on one line. I goofed. What did I do? Oh, look at that. Print line, print LN. If you don't put the LN, all these print on the same line, which is what we want. We're trying to create our three columns, but upon getting to the last bit of information, well, we want it to start a new line re-upload kind of expand this. And you can see how it prints in a nice column. You have your X column, your Y column, and your button column. And this is looking okay to me. The joystick is at idle. And remember, we are looking for that 511 or 512 value. And as you can see in the real world is very rare that you're going to get that. The X axis is doing pretty well. It's waffling anywhere from 510 to about 512. And the Y axis is a little less accurate. It's right around the 489 value. And you can see that the button is at one because when you use the input pull up by default, it is high. So when we press it, it should go low. So let's see what happens when I start messing around with the joystick. First thing I'm going to do is test the button. I'm going to press it. You can see it goes to zero. Now when I release, it goes back to one. Zero and one. All right. So our button is working confirmed. Let's see what happens when I thumb left, watch that X column. It should start working its way back down to zero. And you can see we're down to zero now. And now slowly I'm going to move it back to idle position and it returns to about that 510 to 512 range. And now I'm going to push it all the way to the right, which means it should head over to 1023 on the X. And it does. All right. So that's all working as it should. Now I'm going to thumb up and watch that Y column. The Y should go to zero. All right. And I'm going to thumb down and that is going to go to 1023. And then I'm just going to have fun and kind of go around. Whoa, look at all those numbers. The most important part of this exercise is figuring out that center because that is going to be the basis for all of the sketches that you write. You guys now know how to read the ADC values coming off of your joystick. And in the next episodes, we are going to be taking these values so we can control LEDs, servos, and motors. If you have questions about any of this, I encourage you to post below, but most importantly, I invite you to join my community. Every week we have live video chat events. They include Arduino project challenges, code alongs, live workshops, office hours. If you're having trouble with your project, we help you understand why things aren't working, how to troubleshoot, and you'll be able to code all of your projects from scratch. Link for that is below. Guys, I had a blast, so I'll see you next time.